Hello, my name is Das Marlt and I'm going to show you a concept for a TNT cannon. This cannon is called the Hellfire Cannon. Let's watch it in action, shall we? I just want to warn you before starting this cannon. You have to put the exact amount of TNT in the dispensers that you want to fire. Or else if you try to stop the cannon um, mid-fire, it's just going to blow up. So, let's um, have a demonstration, shall we? Oh dear! I think I've made a mistake. There we go. Let's try it again. Look at that. So, look, 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 look. So basically the TNT fires more and more TNT to its target, so it's just gonna spread all over the place until you run out of TNT. Look at that. Alright, so let's get on to building this thing, because this is gonna be fun to shoot at your friend's house. This as long as Grief thinks okay on the server. Probably not. See you there. To build this cannon. You're going to need a 10 by 9 by 6 area. That's shown here. But yeah, you can of course compact this if you because this is just a concept. Alright. The items that you're gonna need are two sucky pistons, two slime blocks, eight dispensers, a lot of TNT, six redstone repeaters, 32 redstone or more or less, a redstone torch. And 64 building blocks of your choice. Let's get started. And this is how you make the machine. Or cannon, whatever you want to call it. First of all, you want to place down a sticky piston and slime block exactly like this. And then you want to place down four temporary blocks in these positions. When you do that, you want to place down your eight dispensers like this. Then you want to go down here and destroy your temporary blocks there. Next thing that you want to do is that you want to place a block of iron right there. Not a block of iron, but any building block of your choice. And figure out which side you want to place your repeater. I'm going to place my repeater right here and set it to three ticks. Once you've done that, you need to place a block here and place a piece of redstone right there. Now let's worry about that later. Now what you want to do is place down blocks exactly as they're shown here. There we go. Now we need to place down our redstone exactly as shown. Uh oh, I think I've made a mistake. Excuse me. You have to place down the blocks down here. I apologize for the mistake. Now, as soon as you've done this, what you need to do is that you need to remove this thing right here, if this is the side where your redstone is and your repeater. And you would like to hook that up like that, and then you would like to connect this redstone to the circuit. That's shown here. Like that. Or any way that you like to connect to the circuit. After that, you want to place a slime block wherever, wherever direction that you would like to fire your TNT cannon at. Then place a piston or a sticky piston right behind it. And then you want to make a little redstone mm, ladder. <laughs> like this. Down, down down to right here and then what you want to do is place down your redstone like this put a repeater down there four ticks and do and do this great now all that we need to do is test this beast but not before we place down our clock this is how you make the clock and it's crucial that you get this right or else the machine will blow up Place down your building blocks like this, and watch. Set all these repeaters to four ticks. 
placed on a block like that. And now, if you're all ready to go, you know, oh no, we need to, we need to load our dispensers. Let's do that. I'll see you after I load all my dispensers. I've loaded all the dispensers and are ready to test out the TNT cannon. Let's give it a little tester. Yes, it works. So look, the cool thing about this is that it actually um, spreads the TNT out because it launches the secondary TNT or the top TNT that gets dispensed um, in different directions. So it'll blow up pretty much randomly, as you can see here. So that's pretty much it. If you have a more compact version, just put a link to your video in the description. That's all for me, folks. Goodbye. Oh, and don't remember, remember, do not stop the clock until those suspensors run out of TNT. Alright, I'll see you next time.